What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video on the channel and the Lycan Hypersports, a probably the most overhyped car. No, sorry, the most overhyped, I guess. The only reason why I'd call this a hypercar is due to its price. But overall, and maybe it's looks, because it looks ridiculous. Um, it looks like the Batmobile. Like, <laughs> there's so many angles on it, sharp angles and... and uh, and just straight lines everywhere. It just looks crazy. Uh, so from the looks perspective, it looks ridiculous. But this, this is a very unusual car. This is a car that was made by the Middle East, and it is just, it is just a very ridiculous car. It's a brand new car added to Horizon Five, but it's not a new car to the series. I'm pretty sure we've driven this thing back in like Horizon Two or something like that. Um, but it's a, it's an old it's an old car. I mean, this is now what 2016. Oh, maybe it's off Horizon Horizon Two. Maybe Horizon Three. Maybe that's that's where I saw it first. Regardless, um, yeah, the Lycan Hypersports. This thing, I'm pretty sure when it came out, cost like three million dollars or something like that. Like I said, the only hypercar thing about this car is its insane price, and uh, like its performance isn't really up there. To be honest, I mean, this is what we're looking at for stats. 780 horsepower, 960 new meters of torque, and weighs 1,380 kilos. Not great. Even in game, they made it cost 3 million quid. That's actually kind of, that's, that's actually kind of jokes. That they made it actually realistic to the real, to the actual price of real life. 3 million credits in the game as well. So this is how much it costs in, in dollars, I'm pretty sure, in real life as well. Uh, it's, it's just a ridiculous thing. Like I said, it's just, the performance of it just does not match its looks, in my opinion. I feel like, Especially for a 2016 car. Now, if you went back in time to, like, 2006, maybe, then these numbers would be absolutely ridiculous. Also, this is how you get it. You get your 40 points in the autumn season. And uh, and, that, and that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah. So, what I want to do to this thing is I want to improve its performance and make it worth that 3 million quid. Also, it's got a V6 in it. A twin turbo V6, right? It's, uh, it's, it, it sounds a bit, a bit, bleh, you know? So... We'll do we'll do some stuff to it. We'll see what we're what we're looking at for for stuff. We can all wheel drive swap this thing. It is mid engine rear wheel drive, as standard. Um, I might keep it as mid engine rear wheel drive though, because I feel like it could be quite nice. I want to drift this thing for whatever reason in my mind. I feel like it should be quite fun to drift it. We can slap a V twelve in it, the racing V twelve. Um, <laughs> look at the power. Look at the uh, the torque curve. Sorry. On this graph versus this. I mean, this is 520 newton torque. This is 960. But look at the the turbo lag and just the oomph of torque. That's pretty mad. Okay, uh, we'll leave the engine that's in it now because surely we can just upgrade it and do some stuff to it. Uh, I'm gonna put some snow tires on it if we're gonna do any sort of sliding around with it because I feel like this this is what it it would be good for. I don't think this engine is gonna produce a lot of power. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's gonna be that great. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what else can we really do to this thing. The wheels look a bit too small, in my opinion. I feel like we could we could do something better with these wheels. Maybe some uh, ADV ones. Uh, go with some of the HRVs because like specialized wheels. Some of the ADV one wheels actually probably won't look as bad on this car, um, and def they definitely need to be a little bit bigger because they just look absolutely tiny on this thing. Something like this wouldn't be too bad. Uh, but then again, this thing has center locking wheels. So we could probably go with something that's center locking as well in this game. What do we have that's center locking? I'm trying to trying to remember. Uh, I don't know if there's any in the specialized wheel options, but there has to be some in um, in the other ones, right? I don't know. Rotorform I think has a set or two, like something like these. I actually, you know, these are actually center locking, or is it just a tab? What's over them that, that some of the wheels actually have, um, which I'm probably sure that it is. Does this? Act? Oh yeah. Work wheels. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Warsteiner. They have anything? I don't know. I don't think they do. Um, but yeah. This, oh, what did I say? Uh, so these the multi piece wheels don't have center locking. Specialized wheels probably do have center locking. For some of them, like I kind of want to keep that. At least, at least the realism of that in place, at the very least. You know? Just, just a little bit. Uh, we could go with these. Actually, I, I don't really mind these. 
That'd be quite nice. Some of these, uh, some of these Oz wheels. Some OZs. OGOZs. Oh, these look even better, actually. We'll go with these Ultra Legeras. Ultra it makes it look more like a race car like this now, as well. But they look pretty ridiculous. I mean, look how much better that looks. Even just an inch bigger, right? Everyone loves an extra inch. Am I right, guys? All right, anyway, uh, let's move on and start upgrading everything else. Diff, I'm just going to put off of Diff because it locks it for me and I don't have to do anything. Drift suspension, I knew it was available. Uh, is there any other color that this car comes in, by the way? Because I've never seen it in any other color except for this like red color that we have now. The power is definitely going up. We're over a thousand horsepower now. This should be a little better. What are we looking at for stats here? 1,000 horsepower, 1,200 newton meters of torque. Obviously, our lateral Gs went down because we changed it to some worse tires. There was no track width, right? Available for us? Or maybe I just didn't notice it. No, there wasn't. Because I would have changed it, but by the looks of things, there wasn't any. Also, arrow for this thing. Yeah, just disgusting. Awful, 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 awful. Now, let's have a quick look at the design and paints, see what's available for this thing. Because like I said, I've never seen this car in a different color before. And I kind of want to change it, because it's just so boring in red. Oh, wow. Two shades of red. Orange doesn't actually look too bad. <laughs> nah. It just doesn't suit it. Blue's alright. White, not really. The gray looks good, especially with the uh, with the wheels. And the black also looks good with these wheels, except it just hides a lot of a lot of the, uh, the detail in it. Either the gray or this, like, darker blue. I actually don't really mind this at all. Yeah. I think I might, I might pick this color on it. This color comes as well with the wheels. Because I kind of don't want to change the wheels. I definitely don't want to change the calipers. Because it's already in Carmen Ceramics. And it's got the logo on it as well. It says the W more is on the, on the calipers themselves. So I don't really want to change anything there. Okay. Um, yeah. Time to try and see what this thing is like. Anything mid-engine in this game is incredibly fun to drift incredibly fun to just take sideways so i'm expecting big things from this car i'm hoping that this is a very good car to slide it's actually been a little while since i've taken a car out drifting like a brand new car right i feel like i've done a lot of different types of builds especially for a channel like mine where i love to drift stuff it's uh, it feels like it's been quite a while since i've just built something for drifting and taking it out what did I say? What did I say to you about mid-engine cars being unbelievably good drift cars? It's so smooth. It's brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> it's not going to be able to hold a huge angle, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. I feel like I'll... Yeah, look, it, it kind of goes. Eh, you can catch it back again, but it's, it's it obviously slows down a lot. Um, It's nice. I knew it was going to be a good car to slide with, uh, especially mid-engine. It's just the balance of these cars, these mid-engine cars. They're, they're, they're very similar in that perspective. Uh, it's all just the difference in... Um, the only difference it comes down with is the amount of steering angle that you can possibly have, because that's not going to be the same in every single car. And, of course, your know, power and weight. But other than that... Fundamentally, the cars should handle very, very similarly. All mid-engine cars in this game should handle very, very closely to one another. They should be, they should be very similar. And that's why I got excited when I was like, "Oh, mid-engine! This could be quite fun to uh, to slide around with." God, it makes an awful noise, doesn't it? It's just so quiet.
They could have made it be like a little bit more like more exciting at least. I think of the GTR's noise, right? Think of what a GTR sounds like and how loud that thing is. And this thing looks like it should make an incredible noise and it just doesn't. I really do think that this is the most overhyped car. Overhyped, like, hypercar, I guess, in the world. Or supercar, or sports car, whatever you want to call this thing. I don't even know what it is. I don't think anybody knows what this thing actually is. Like, the only reason, like I said, that Evel ever called this thing a hypercar is because it's got hypercar numbers uh, for the price tag. That's literally it. And nothing else. Because performance-wise, it's, it's, it's just a sports car. It's like a high-end sports car to a low-end, like, supercar. Now, maybe not a low-end supercar, right? It's like, it's got, like, Aventador numbers, and Aventadors were pretty ridiculous supercars in their own rights. So I shouldn't really call it that. But an Aventador has such a big appeal. Like, it's got a big, loud V12. It's much cheaper than this. And it produces similar numbers. Completely stock. And I think it, 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 looks, it looks a lot better. Right? I feel like the, the Aventador just looks a lot better. This just looks like what they've done is they've decided to... To sketch out, like, the Batmobile and then just change it slightly and be like, Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we'll have as our car. It's just a bit too tall. Like, if you want to... If you want to compare it to other, like hypercars that are, you know, just not there, you know, power-wise. Like, you don't have the, uh, you know, stuff like the Bugattis or the Koenigsegg or, or, or stuff like that. If you want to, like, kind of compare it to, to the cars that have, like, similar powers and all that, think about the Paganis. Think about how sleek and, like, ridiculously good-looking the Paganis are. You know? And those are also very, very expensive, but at the same time, like, what you pay for is what another like massively massively impressive v12 in it and also the craftsmanship that goes into Pagani's like is absolutely insane i feel like this car again just got its popularity from fast and furious and that was it the interior looks very good and modern though for 2016 it looks very good and modern it just feel like it's a concept car that was just thrown out and it's like, here you go. Yeah, just just send it out to the public. This almost drives like an all-wheel drive car. Like, you just drive it on the throttle. A lot of the time. I've also still not driven with the, with the drift cam on. I just keep forgetting to turn it on. And the reason why I turned it off is because I try to... Wait, what am I doing? Uh, when I try to, like, obviously race normally, I don't want that thing on. Because it's just going to be really annoying to put it on. But when I'm sliding around... Obviously, it's a lot more fun to look at doing this. I immediately messed it up. I, I threw it in so hard, I was like, I have to let go. And then here, I just didn't throw it in hard enough. See, see what I mean? Like, it's used, it's, it's, uh, it's so odd to just hop back and just get used to it. But yeah, this thing just handles like an all-wheel drive car. Like, you just roll it on the throttle and it just... <laughs> you just keep keep driving it with the throttle a lot of the time. But obviously if you send it with slightly more angle then of course you're gonna need to steer. Oh my god! I'm straight up. No, but it's smooth to drive. I mean obviously I think my tune has something to do with that as well. But it's smooth to drive, it's nice to control. Like I said, mid-engine cars in this game especially. Are an absolute joy to drive. They're just so incredibly smooth and really, really fun to, to slide around with. Even if you're just doing stuff like this and like you obviously don't care about points or anything like that, you're just kind of enjoying the car, just to enjoy it. It's uh, it's nice. It's, I don't think this is going to be competitive for anything. Um, okay, I guess we're going in reverse. All right, there we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's like, I don't think it's going to be competitive for anything. It doesn't feel like it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this thing is just, imagine it's just an unbelievable race car. 
in this game. I'm just calling it not competitive, but it just it doesn't feel like it. Especially when I was driving it stock. Like with a lot of cars, I've had it before where with a lot of cars you just... It's just the way they drive even completely stock, like you, you just will have a feel. That they're gonna be really, really good. Like the Valkyrie that we had recently, like when I drove that thing completely stock, I was like... This is like an unbelievably good car. Like this has potential to be so good. And it is. It is an unbelievably good handling car. In so many different aspects of it. And uh, yeah, this just doesn't feel like it. So yeah, the most overhyped supercar in the world uh, is is back now in the Forza series. And it's here. I can't even say that looks bad because it's, I just I don't think it looks bad. It just looks like it's very like over the top. You know? I guess that's I guess that's what they really had in mind, obviously, to make this thing as over the top as possible when they ended up designing it. Make it look as close to a concept car as, as humanly possible. Like, even back then, with that cockpit, that virtual cockpit, it just looks mental. Like, in 2016, that would look ridiculous. Like, we've we've started to have, like, digital cockpits in, in what was it, 2014? Something like that? Um, but yeah, this is just... It's just, it just looks crazy. Well, that's going to be it for today's video on the like and hyper sport. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to feel about this thing. Like I said, it's it's nice to drive, but it's just not it's not worth the, the like. I mean, obviously not like in real life, it's not worth the money. But I just don't think in game it's going to be really that great for anything. In my opinion. It's going to be good, I think, for, for racing. Like I said, mid-engine cars are always quite good for, for a lot of things in this game. But I just don't think... I just don't think it'll be, like, overly good for anything. It's not going to be the best at anything. Anyway, everyone. Thank you for watching today's video on the Like and Hypersport. If you enjoy stuff like this and you want to see more of it on the channel. And, of course, subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Peace out.